God. Every word of the Most High is pure. He, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, the same thing, right? Every word of the Most High is pure. He's a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Oh, listen to this. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee. And now we found a liar. Oh, oh. Look, the, the scripture said in Matthew 15 and Matthew 10 and all kind of other scriptures. It said that the Lord came to save the, the children of Israel, the house of Israel. It didn't say it came for all nations. So if, don't be adding on to the word saying that all nations could be saved because you'll be found a liar. Like your boy said, the slavery's not in the Bible. He found out to be a liar. He adding on to the words, taking away words. You know what I mean? Well, just so far, like, two to three. Yeah, like, right. All right, go ahead. My zeal have to sue me. Ooh, see, that's why we, we got that zeal, boy. We be out here teaching. Because my enemies forgot thy words. They like, damn, y'all actually out here. It's like, no, we actually out here. Yes, you know what I mean? Verse 40, 140, verse 140. Thy word is very pure. Ooh, that word is very pure. And therefore, thy servant loveth it. Hey, really, that's why we love this word. That's why we come out in the streets. And this word is pure. We ain't gonna go out, you ain't gonna find no woman that's pure that you can go out your way to please her. You know what I mean? But we gonna go out the way to you know to please the most high. Please this woman. Yeah, to please this woman. I am small and despised. Yet do not I forget my precepts. Ooh, yeah, we ain't gonna forget no precepts. Thy righteousness has an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So what's the truth? Yeah. Slavery's in the Bible. It's only come from Israel. So we do. I mean, that's that's the truth. The Lord came for it. It said right there, Matt. Let me get it real quick. Real quick. I mean, it's right there, Matthew. What's that? I just want to get that one real quick. Matthew one and twenty one. And he shall bring forth a son that shall call his name Yahushai, for he shall save his people from their sins. His people. Plain and simple. We didn't say the whole world. So y'all ain't gonna sit there and tell us that we false prophets. We, we should like three. What was the Dudley's the three D? We should three D that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Just toss his ass up there. It's gonna be a four D. <laughs> a four D. <laughs> you know you do one of them that double moves on it. Yeah. So like these churches, man, they going off, man. If you teach that, everybody can make it. Everybody can be saved. That's some bullshit, yeah. man. That's, that's, that's a false prophet. We ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. We trying to hear the words of the Bible. Yeah. Not no bullshit. Saying all nations can be saved, that's some bullshit. And how the fuck can... Well, how, now everybody can save, so you tell me this shit right here. Testament, right. right. Testament, for two. I for I, two for two. Testament, yeah. 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 Take them teeth out there with some pliers, boy. Knock out the teeth of the young lion. This is where he said that, guys. I don't know. I, I didn't know what the hell he's even even meant by that. I was just going with it. Jeremiah 30 and uh, uh, 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. He says, the whole thing. But you know that, I'm sorry, go ahead. I just, but you know Jake, man, he think he gonna come up with throw a little wisdom. Like he added on to it or something. It's, law, it's laws, yeah, it's laws on uh, having slaves too. He didn't say nothing right. He, he thought he, he came up right. here, added a precept. Right. Didn't know what the hell he said. He said, he said, he said, I fry. He said, Old Testament day. It didn't make no sense at all. But actually, so, Yahweh said, Yeah, I heard. Yeah, he I said, Yeah, no longer. He said, Now I say, No longer I high for high. Yeah. Supposed to leave that to the most high. What I'm saying is, you know how Jake always come up. He'll try to throw a quick precept like he was adding on to what we was teaching. Like, like we ain't know. Like he had an extra recipe. <laughs> like, why don't you just stick around? You can, you know, kick some truth. Did you know you was an answer right? Oh, oh, oh. Jake earlier did that. He said something. Oh, I already know that. Yeah. I already know I'm an Israelite. Then why aren't you out here teaching? Y'all act like you got so much knowledge. You know, but y'all don't ever want to teach. You know. You gotta teach it. You gotta teach it. Right. Hey, you got you, you talk that talk. You got to walk that walk. Yeah, talk it. Say, we, we, we walk that walk. You know what I mean? Chocolate. Chocolate. I'll take that chocolate. You didn't play. I got 
Not for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm claiming everything today. I'm getting greedy. Here we go. Good. I am small in the spots, yet do not I forget my precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Yeah, the law, the law is the truth. And everybody tries to say it's a lie. Hear it, is, man. What? They always say, oh, that was written by man. Oh, that was written by men, but where you get your information from? Your history books. Where you get all your information from? How you get on your phone? Who? It's written by man, but yeah. that's what they claim they believe in it. <laughs> Trouble and anguish. But how is, oh, I'm sorry, though, I don't mean to interrupt you. But it says what? The law is truth, right? But how come every time we try to teach the law, they say that's not true? You got, that's the Old Testament. That ain't like, these, <laughs> these people are bugged out. They're really bugged out. They, 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 their mind is messed up. That's the Old Testament. I mean, they really believe in everything opposite. Everything the Bible says, they believe the opposite. Like, literally. You can't make this shit up. If the Bible says don't be a homo, they, they, they say you can be a homo. All right, exactly. I, that, that's, that's, all, that's all. That's all you can say, really. Because you can't. I, right. I already got enough gray hair to do. Like my beard already turned gray. So I would have been had a heart attack if I cared too much about two thirds. You got your way trying to save one of these fucking roaches, man. You you gonna die die of stress? You know what I mean? That's why your house I had gray hair. Who's dealing with these? He's on a way higher level than us, so you think about the work he was putting in. Yeah. You know, he was working he was, every day. He to America, they still didn't want to move the truth. That's why he beat their ass up one day, turned the table, he lost it and beat their ass up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep that away. Trouble in English, I take the whole thing together. My commandments are my delights. Oh yeah, the commandments are, the, man, we didn't delight in those commandments. Hey, it's like on Easter. We was delighting in the Most High yesterday. Everybody was eating their fucking the honey baked ham. Got their Ishtar with their bunny rabbits and all that. But we delight. We was fucking curse a lot, but we delight this truth, man. Yeah, marshmallow, gelatin, pork bone candy. Eating that, feeding that bullshit to your children, man. Don't know we went eat no goddamn peeps. That's a nasty system. Hey, there's some dirt out looking people out here, man. Hey, you got more than that script than I was doing. What was that? Someone's what? That was a good one. 119. Yeah, 119. Hey, you take the light on the Actually, there was more than that one script that I was doing. That Alzheimer's kicking in again. Next time I'm gonna be up here like Muhammad Ali. We stuttering, can't get my words out. That's <laughs> like that. Hey, that could happen to you though, you know? Ain't none of us untouchable. Most High can touch anybody. Hey, a fucking, hey, he fucked up Jacob. You see what the Most High did to Jacob, right? And he wrestled with an angel, and then Jacob had to walk with a cane for the rest of his life. All because he had did a good job against the angel. <laughs> Think about that. The most hijack people up, man. Look at that big one right there, boy. That's a big woman right there. Uh, she give birth to an office of mind. It's a, he said, uh, you know, I delight in your word, your law. We read all this right here. It's like, it was, uh, it was uh, Psalms 119 and uh, 49. Remember the word unto thy servant which it's like it. Remember thy word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction, for thy word has put quick in me. The proud have yet me in derision, great in derision. Yet have I not declined from thy law. Oh yeah, they cause they have you in derision, but we don't decline from the law. Did you be tempted to break the law? Did you have women all the time? We get into situations, we about to get finally I might hook up this bitch, bro. We about to go do and then all of a sudden, oh yeah, my boyfriend, this is a oh, god bitch. 
got a boyfriend, you got a husband, you know, and she try to hide it from you. Right. Or be like, oh, we're not really together. Or, you know, some yeah. shit like that. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> but that's how they get you. I mean, that's them demons trying to get you to break that law. Or you be at your family's house, or something, they having a dinner. They'll have, they'll uh, try to get you to eat some ham, like get you some of this, get you doing these brat words. You want these boys? Or yeah. eating that, they'll, they'll sneak, they'll sneak, they'll hide pork and food. Yeah. They'll, they'll make a pizza with the pepperonis under the cheese, or something like that. Yeah. I'm, it's like, there you go, you got it. Uh, every time I talk to a girl, I'm like, you got a man, first she told me no, and then she told me yes. And I, and I remember the day you said, you told me this after, because I remember the girl came to camp, and I actually like, somebody asked her, like, you got a man or something like that, she's like, kind of. I remember you said something like, uh, if some girls say something like that, that means she, she, that means she got to do it. And I learned that, because bitches, they be trying to confuse you, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to tell you a straight-ass answer. If she tell you some, some boozy-ass answer, hey, okay, that means she got to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, trying to, it's pretty much what Satan, Satan jumps in the motherfuckers and trying to yeah. make the ball. And then, once you're that close to some finally to get what you want, then Satan's come out of nowhere, though. And then, then the Lord, go, then that's why the Lord is doing it really to test you, put demons on people, and then when you get that opportunity to really get what you want, then, then you're gonna understand, like, okay, shit. Then you gotta make that decision. Right, that's what I bring the law, do I just, what you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and you're gonna have to do that. They can't tell you, they seen it, but they didn't have like 10 dicks before they even got with you. So, 10? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's dad. Oh, okay. Yeah. But she's single. Oh, but yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. look at it like, yeah, she didn't fuck me. I was about to say, you said 10. <laughs> you talking about, yeah, like, you talking about this week? <laughs> But yeah, she just say she's single and then she go out and fuck everybody and then come fuck yeah, I know these girls, bro. Even if you think you got a girl that's single and she's been ran up in every day, you you ain't supposed to go up in there next. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to be next. That's that's still actually adultery. And she's been ran up in, got all kind of seed up. You're not supposed to go up in that. But you'll get tempted to do that. you be like, you know, she's easy. I get my thing off real quick. So we all, what's the point of what about the, uh, oh yeah, the temptation, another temptation, maybe all kind of temptation. Dealing with, uh, this world. Prayers lead me not into temptation. They lead not, especially. Deliver me from evil. Plus you be out there drinking or something, say you would have, for some dumb reason you thought it would be a good idea to go to a bar or something. And you be out there, and you fucking with the world, man. You, you, when you not, Grounded in this truth to the scripture, you get caught out there. I mean, you start drinking, you start getting belligerent. So you gotta pray the Lord don't get you in that evil spirit, man. Yeah. He said, he said, I remember that law. It's not gonna okay. I remember. I it's gonna blow you up. Like, I think I first <laughs> it says, the proud have, made, oh, have me greatly in derision, yet have not declined from my law. I remember that judgments of old, uh, I would <laughs> have comforted myself. Now, when you go through situations like, you know, bad situations, you remember, like, an uh, example through the scriptures, and you have to be comfort. Yep. Uh, it says, Horror have taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Oh, yeah, that's what I be thinking about, the wicked. Actually, you know what I really think about? Like, something really hold me down. I be thinking about the, the story of Noah and the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, just like that scripture Peter says. It was left as an example. You know what I mean? That's why I got my, uh, my computer screensaver right now. I got the uh, Noah's Ark. So every time I turn my computer on, I see motherfuckers drowning. That's the first thing I see when I wake up in the morning. Motherfuckers dying. Because, you know, it's just to help keep it in my mind. Like, I could, that could be me. You know? I, I ain't trying to be the one scratching, clawing to get into the ark. It just lets you know the motherfuckers need put to death, you know? What's that stuff? I remember that judgment of old, oh, how I would have come for myself. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> how do you help? Now, because I'd be, hey, you got to meditate on that fire, because look, the fire is coming. Then y'all ain't ready for that, man. See, y'all don't want to believe it. Nothing. So, fuck y'all. So, the fire is coming, okay? The fire, fire is coming from heaven. We got some lotion for that head. <laughs> yeah, fire is coming from the heavens. You know how the Lord going to destroy America by fire, but y'all don't care, do you? Like fire is not gonna hurt you. Like you gonna make it through the fire. You know. You see you, what happened to Eric? No, they don't feel they are. They can be judged. <laughs> they don't think there's gonna. They really don't. They think this is a joke. They say this is a joke. You died and you 
Bro. That's why they that yeah, F1 made you apology. Made you apology. What was that? Because they just did that big video that just came out, what, a few weeks ago? The government? That video, the UFO. The, from the oh, Navy yeah. shit? Oh, yeah, they trying to cover it up. Yeah. So, I mean, we know so-called UFOs are real. Those are the chariots of the Lord. I mean, I know for a fact they're real. Uh, we all know. Oh, uh, you can. That one ain't. I don't think, I don't know why they make it such a big deal out of that one. Because yeah, the moment the U.S., when the, uh, when the submarines was just sitting in the middle of the ocean that came up. Now, actually, the submarines, they come and they just used to put the, 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 you know, whatever the thing is, they look. Oh, the little ping pong thing. They got cameras on. They, 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 they taking pictures of a like, massive giant UFO just sitting above the fucking ocean, man. You know, just sitting there chilling. They got many pictures of them, man. He laughed up, but he turned his laugh upside down because he, he thought we were talking about aliens. He was like, we all talking about UFOs. He's like, it was like tears of the Lord. He's like, I don't know. Well, the Lord is going to be an alien too. <laughs> well, he, he is. Hey, but look, the word Allah Hayyam, Allah is very similar to I, I, the word alien spelled the same as Allah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Killing is gonna use that one. Oh shit. <laughs> well, I mean, what well, Esau's a reptilian. I'll say it. You know what I mean? He's a reptilian. Oh, let me get it. I'll show you the scripture. I'll prove he's a reptilian. So we speak. We can speak in parables, though. We ain't no goddamn reptilian. You know what I mean? No. You know we ain't down with David Ike. Hey, I'm a, David Ike's an Israelite. Okay. I, like a crazy ass. They ain't gonna kick me out of camp for saying that though. <laughs> hey, but David, he gotta be an Israelite. Talking that crazy shit, talking about reptilians. Only an Israelite can come up with some shit like that. And he be believing in it too, you know. <laughs> but he be going, he be banging hard on some of them fake Jews on Esau. But they had like, so yeah. Oh uh, man, he will go hard. <laughs> David, I right, yeah, he'll put you about put you to sleep. Yes, yeah, he'll speak for a 24 hours straight. You'd be like, fuck, it really is what I'm telling you. Smack that ass, you see a hand. She ain't got much of ass to smack, though. You don't have to do like a little finger or two. Like, ha! <laughs> probably break her hip. She got no hips. I hear that woman got no childbearing hips, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking about, bro. I'm a, I'm with some thoroughbred babies. My next babies, they gotta be giants. <laughs> you know what I mean? With the kingdom, bro, I'm gonna have the giant babies. They be knocking fools out. Just think about it, man. Just think of it, like back in the, just see how big uh, Samson's mom had to be. Yeah. I mean, like, she was a thoroughbred to have something like that inside of her. But then again, you know Will Chamberlain? You know Will Chamberlain is seven foot two. Both his parents was like under whatever, 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, you know that? No. No history of height at all in their family. Just out of nowhere, Will Chamberlain good 7'2". So it's crazy. Oh, yeah, more five, you can have a little tiny girl, she can pop out a 7-footer. She just don't know it. Oh, hey. What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? you don't see how the spirit works? You didn't see that? I just said a little tiny girl. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then she walked four foot five, walked by. <laughs> and, and I mean, you see how the spirit works, right? See, see, see. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with y'all. Oh, we all can rock in the chase. Oh, is those catchers? Oh, it's uh, what issues back in that area? She always talked about just that oh, yeah, area. That's the opposite of my family. My my kids get the Jordans. I get the and fucking. The thing is, the Jordan shoes are cheaper for the kids than they is for the dog. They they way over the price. They used to be very, very cheap for the That's why I go to play those closets for the kids. Shit. <laughs> that's what Jake does. Though. Hey, that is. They get that five finger discount. But they got smart nowadays though, the stores. They only put one shoe out. You go to play those closet even, they got one shoe out there. Yeah, it's out of Jake. Jake could go, he'll steal that one shoe though. Yeah, he'll he'll go, he'll still. find the other one somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I can find the other one. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. 
Jay got scams, man. Yeah, hey, your girl should get a turn around. Oh, for real? What's up, girl? Girl, uh, yeah. Oh, they put my girl, the Elven Princess. The girl came over. Who, the Elven Princess? Who, her? Yeah. Oh. What's her name? Liv Tyler. Yeah. What's the girl with you? How you doing? I can just take you home with me. <laughs> what would you do? She look guy. Look like Liv Tyler, bro. What that was, her. We didn't oh, know. shit. Hey. Nah, so maybe we be coming out here to the That's right Aerosmith's now. daughter, bro. You know, duh. What's his name? I was reading saying they said the guitarist or somebody from there was uh, black. His dad was black or somebody. Right, Aerosmith? Yeah. They might have been. They got sold up. said somebody's dad was black. Well, my shit. Mind. That's proof. Yeah, Stephen Tyler. That's the spirit, though. Stephen Tyler got to be Israelite. What's that song? <laughs> Don't. Say the talent? No, Steve Talent. Oh, I thought he said something about it. Yeah, he can sing his ass off. Actually, Yeah, what's that? He got some pimp music too. Make the panties come on. You know what I mean? Hey, you straight drop him. Hey, that one song. Close your eyes, I can hear your heart beat. I can't sing that shit. Maybe I can hear your heart beat or whatever. Yeah. That uh, from Armageddon. I think he said he was Native American. He looked like he looked like he could be, like dude from Chili Peppers is. What's it, Anthony Kiedis is an Israelite? Oh, Flea definitely an Israelite. Flea, on the bass guitar? Let me get down on them for the Chili Peppers. The bass guitar player. Oh, all them Chili Peppers, they all take. Yeah. Making music like that, man, that funky ass music. They, brought, they come with the funk. Shit, oh, oh, fuck goofy ass vanilla ice is a Jake. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you know, they said, uh, oh, they said Death Row Records was started off of uh, Vanilla Ice for Shugs for getting for that money. Yeah, yeah. They said if it wasn't for Vanilla Ice, there'd be no Death Row. Yeah, he extorted him out that yeah, money. Yeah, they got that money. <laughs> Look, if there was no Vanilla Ice, you got to give him his credit. Right. If it wasn't for Ice, Ice Baby, there'd be no, there'd, there'd be no, there'd be no Chronic. The Chronic one never came out. She's going back to the forest. <laughs> Tell me she don't look like the elf princess. Yeah. Uh, I got a scripture though. Talking on this madness. Uh, yeah, man, what scripture is this? Ain't a song fitting with cookies. No, and cookies are what? You heard that song? The milk and cookie song? Uh, My songs be blasting it. Damn, damn, she got the ring in the You said you good pay for the more. I don't know though. I mean, let me check it. Uh, <laughs> hey, well, the, the scripture said that uh, her vintage shall fail. Was that Isaiah 3? Yeah, I three, bro. She suffered from that Isaiah three curse. No, I do got it. I do got it. Yeah. Oh, we can't get it. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I was just gonna read the song fifty five. Uh, give ear to my prayer, uh, O oh God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise. Uh, that's why we are here. Yeah, we complete. You can complain to the Most High. What do you think of prayer? I mean, we pray like sincerely, but we complain too. You know what I mean? We complain. Just like we complain to your parents. Why like, when you gonna let me out of this damn room? You know? Can I get out? You ain't sitting there being quiet, just accepting your punishment. Like, oh, this is great. I love being locked up in this room all day. This is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. Ooh, he said in wrath they hate me. Oh, that's like that James White. He said that little bullshit he said because he got that wrath. He got that hatred in his heart. Was it? I think this goes to continue to say that he has war in his heart. You know what I mean? He's trying to say all these soft words, trying to make it look like he cares, and he's a nice guy, he's a righteous man. But really, he got the devil in 